This is Stella Loves God, and I'm going to bring you another video today. So, I'm super excited to bring this video to you. It's not an easy topic to go into, but um, one that's extremely important nonetheless. So, this is God's Peace Landing. I'm just back here in what's to be my rock garden, and I'm just going to have a little chit-chat with you about blood pressure high blood pressure strokes what i've done to lower my mom's blood pressure and um so it's super super exciting super important and um even alzheimer's because i'll go into that and how that ties into all of this in just a moment all right so the number one thing i would suggest if you or a loved one have been diagnosed with high blood pressure or really for anyone at all um is to definitely get a blood pressure monitor and take your readings just to know where you stand with your blood pressure. So let's do that real quick. This particular machine, it is, you're supposed to do it on your left arm. And for a lefty, that's a bit of a challenge, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Okay, it wasn't really, wasn't really that much of a challenge. So let's hope we don't get an error because this is just a, um, I don't know if I did this, purchase this one from Walgreens or from Amazon, but um, under a hundred bucks. Preparing to take measurement. Please relax and do not talk or move. Your systolic pressure is 113. Your diastolic pressure is 75. Your pulse is 84. According to published standards, this reading is normal. All right, so there's my reading. And typically, like back in the day, um, I would be so low with my blood pressure and most of the month when I take the um, blood pressure it's literally 90 something 80 something that top number so this is twice recently that it's been over it's been a three digit number at the top so it's interesting but at least it's still showing normal so anyways um, that is a very important thing to do it's incredibly essential that we don't sleep on our blood pressure readings and don't feel like we don't want to know because obviously with blood pressure it's something if you don't know the number if you're not testing it you'll never know you know if there is an issue or not back in 2017 my mom had a stroke and it was not something that was unexpected because she'd had you know high blood pressure alarmingly high blood pressure for a long time and you know the prayer is just that the stroke wouldn't happen so after that point what i began to do is make all of her meals because immediately the health um declined in the sense of there was just something different something off she talked about her vision right away you know the first symptoms that i noticed was going to her house and she'd fallen and um Her speech was slurred. I asked her if she had face tingling. She did. I knew right then. I said, you're having a stroke. And, you know, she was a person who was like, I would like to just live my life, die. I don't want to go to hospitals and all that. So there was some convincing, some praying, sitting on her bed, convincing her, helping her to get ready. We literally walked out of the house, very unstable. Um, a lot of time was being wasted, obviously, but that's the way we did it. And there's no going back changing that. So ultimately, the goal is kind of, well, not the goal, but if you're faced with this 
super bad reality, you want to get treatment right away, get to the hospital right away. But if you cannot, you know, it is what it is. You get there when you can. So at the hospital, you know, speech extremely slurred, garbled, um, could not walk in a line, was walking, stumbling this way, stumbling that way. And um, it was just tough. I was literally sitting there praying and thinking, how are we going to care for her? You know, the reality has happened. She's had a stroke. And how are we going to care for her beyond this point? Well, thankfully, you know, a couple days later, she was released. Um, a lot of those initial symptoms subsided. But there was definitely something different about her from that very moment. Um, on the way home, she complained about vision not being the same. She felt her vision was off. Um, and her balance from that moment on, seven years ago, um, the falling. You know, I've run across rooms to catch her. Um, and she stumbled backwards in my backyard once and I ran across the yard. We both went down, but I tried to catch her one time in the bathroom. In her room, she's going toward the bathroom. I saw her starting to stumble and I ran and I caught her from hitting the floor and we both went down. It's just been a lot, you know, that happens with strokes. We control her blood pressure using diet and a few other things. So let me show you what we do. Okay, so obviously I'm on YouTube. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional. This is a natural way that we control her blood pressure. And you know, there's nothing against medication. If you take blood pressure medication, that's totally you know, um, fine as well, but for mom, she didn't want to do medication. I said, well, let me look into what are some natural remedies. I count every bit of sodium that she gets. We're both on very low sodium diets because I've just adopted her diet. And what we do in lieu of um, blood pressure medication, and I'll cover up the label here, but we do this 1500 milligrams of um, black garlic and this stuff is great. Your blood pressure is going to fluctuate throughout the day and that's why it's nice to have the machine because if you see it's elevated you can come back a few hours later and take it again and see if it's you know still elevated or not. Obviously you want to have a well-balanced approach if you're younger you can work out, uh, working out, exercising, um, eating well you know it's all a part of it but you know it is um, essential to manage it. Salt-free seasonings like Mrs. Dash is um, what I use on her food. Initially when she had the stroke in 2017, it was bland food. I made everything quinoa, no seasoning. Meat, no seasoning. <laughs> Breakfast, no seasoning. So literally I just stopped seasoning everything. And I ate like that, she ate like that, and it was so bland until my sister said, you know they make salt-free seasoning. So that's my other tip is that you can still eat foods that are very tasty and um, just use the salt-free seasoning. You know, I don't know for a fact because obviously people get Alzheimer's who have not had a stroke, but to me the um, Alzheimer's is a direct result of the stroke. I just feel it's such, the stroke started it and then from there, you know, that's when I begin to see everything else coming into play. So, you know, strokes are no joke. It's not just about, um, you might lose, lose a bit of speech, you might not be able to walk in a straight line. One of my uh, friends at work at the time, or one of my coworkers, she said, my dad had a lot of strokes by now. You know, all that happens is you just go to the hospital, they give you a medication, it's reversed. And that was good news for me at the time because my mom had just had a stroke and I was just looking for any way of hope. Well, the truth is that's not exactly correct. Even if you go to the hospital and they reverse the effects to the best of their ability, a lot of times it is six months down the road, nine months down the road, a year down the road, you know, that you start to feel or you start to notice, you know, that there's other effects that are happening. You know, it's nice to have different options between medication or natural remedies, but it's just nice to, first of all, acknowledge that strokes are not a joke. They don't just have limited effects, you know, the point that I'm at within my life with my mom is a very difficult challenging phase a phase we prayed we'd never see but here we are and you know Alzheimer's is a whole nother brutal chapter on top of you know what happens with strokes and what can what can damage the brain and cause you know 
this sort of domino effect of health challenges because we know with falling are the fractures and, and that's a whole nother story. If you've had a stroke, um, what I would say and what my mom does is first of all, there's no life that's more valuable than another life. Sickness doesn't mean that your life has lost value. I found so much um, value and meaning in my mom's life. You know, her life is with deep purpose, even at this point where words have become difficult, comprehension has become difficult. She's tired, you know, she tells me she's tired all the time, to which I can only say, I'm sorry, mom, I know, and I can just try to help in all the ways that I can. But our reality is a very, very different reality um, than it probably would have been would have been, you know, had strokes and high blood pressure not sort of taken us down this path. But, you know, spiritually, she's soaring. Her spiritual body is phenomenal. So if you've had a stroke, don't lose hope. Strokes do not look the same way for everybody. Some strokes are reversed. You get in the hospital quick enough and they are, you know, you don't see the effects. Everybody's, you know, situation will look different. And life is valuable whether you're speaking clearly you're if you have slurred speech if you are able to walk in a straight line it doesn't you know it doesn't devalue your life so i just want to give that encouragement and just say that you know nobody's on this earth without purpose you know if you're here there's a purpose and sickness can be healed and you can learn to manage and have a great life that one always blooms in like may or june <laughs> And sometimes July, so that's when it's like at the height of the blooming season anyway. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> so peaceful just driving in here you ready for some lunch are you ready for lunch I guess so <laughs> over here at this trail at this area today you want to eat lunch right here or over at the lake 